Hello and welcome, Gemini. I am Pisces Intuition here with your weekly reading. All right, Gemini, so let's just see what comes through, what is coming in this week for you, or what is going on. Um, relationships, love, just any messages that want to come out for Gemini. All right, hopefully everybody is doing well out there. All right, so Gemini, so you had the Two of Cups. Let me see if that's going to pick it up. Um, the Two of Cups come out. Beautiful. So this could be, I'm guessing, a love reading. Um, <laughs> you know, Two of Cups, that's about soulmates. Okay, then we have the Queen of Wands coming out and the Ten of Pentacles. All right, Gemini, hang on. <laughs> okay, I was going to say if uh, the, two of Pen or the Two of Cups comes out again, which it flew out. So, I'm taking it. Okay. Okay, I keep getting, I need to take that top card too. Okay. Um, bottom of the deck, we do have the Five of Wands, Ace of Swords. Um, on the top part is the Judgment card. Um, right off the bat, I was getting um, Reunion for some of you. Um, soulmate Connection. Let me set that over here. Uh, this could be someone from your past. Um, more importantly, I just keep getting a very strong soulmate connection for you, Gemini. Um, it does feel like this is kind of coming back around again uh, because it does feel like you've been in separation from this person. Um, it feels like you guys have kind of been through a lot together and it feels like you've been going through a lot lately, Gemini. Uh, could it be, you know, like a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of stress and you know, anxiety, just worry. Yeah, we have the three, okay, so let me walk you down. We have the two of cups, five of pentacles, nine of swords, three of swords, chariot, eight of wands, and six of cups. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm definitely getting, like I said, some heartbreak, um, being apart from this person. But it's like somebody's finally taking the lead here. Somebody's finally coming forward here, bringing in some communication. Like I said, it really feels like someone from your past, so please don't shoot the messenger. I'm just, you know, saying what I see here. Um, again, very strong soulmate connection. It feels like you guys have been apart. Um, this, I keep getting something about winter time, so maybe you separated in winter. Um, yeah, and it's, but it's like you guys have still been very much on each other's minds. It's like this connection hasn't been able to fully... Um, like physically you're separated, but the connection itself hasn't been able to separate. It's like you still kind of pick up on each other's emotions. You're still constantly thinking, well, not constantly, but you're still very much thinking of each other. Yeah, we do have, um, Venus, uh, going retrograde too. And, you know, I don't know if that has something to do with this or what, but it's like, you know, realiza realizations of certain things. Um, you know, we have um, Saturn going retrograde, you know, that's karma, you know, paying karmic debts, you know, things like that. Um, so maybe somebody left here for a karmic relationship or something just didn't work out, but it really caused a lot of heartbreak, a lot of, you know, sadness, a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety. Like I said, a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of worry, um, you know, no communication because it almost feels like this person, or maybe it was you, maybe it was both of you, and they kind of like blocked each other. Um, like, uh, I don't know if that just means in life or like on social media or, you know, both, but it's like, you guys just, there's definitely some distance there, you know, no communication, no talking, no, um, texting, like just no communication whatsoever. Yeah. But it's like somebody finally, you know, just says, you know, screw it. Like, this isn't going away. You know, it's like memories. I keep getting like sober playing over. Um, like I said, you know, lots of um, thoughts, memories, you know, things just kind of going through their head. I keep getting something about music too. Um, music is coming through. Yeah. So it's like somebody goes ahead, takes the lead, and um, <clears throat> sends out communication. This is rather swift communication with this chariot card and then the eight of wands here as well. So this could kind of catch you off guard, be, you know, very unexpected to you. 
Um, but it does, like I said, I have to reiterate this. It does feel like it's someone from your past. Yeah, it feels like there's been like some struggle with communication. Um, somebody kind of keeping feelings to themselves or it almost feels like for some of you, um, this person just ghosted, like left no explanation, no nothing. And that's what caused so much heartbreak, so much stress, so much worry, so many thoughts, you know, just wondering like, well, what the heck happened? You know, it's like you were getting no answers. Um, but it's like, there's, you know, this, like I said, that struggle with communication. And then all of a sudden we have the ace of wands, ace of wands or swords. I cannot talk today. I'm sorry. I'm like looking at the wands and communication and everything and not focusing what's in my hand. Um, the Ace of Swords here, this is clearing up that cloudiness. This is, um, you know, that victory. This is, like I said, that aha moment. You know, somebody finally realizing, like, you know what? I'm going to send out communication. I'm going to do it because this needs to, we need to talk this out. We need to figure this out. Um, somebody here wants a second chance, and I think you do too, Gemini. Because you've really been thinking about this person and vice versa. Um, this could have been a third party situation because I am getting some kind of like karmic situation here. Um, but for you, it feels like this is your soulmate. So it's just like somebody kind of got in the way. Um, like I said, going back to the top of the deck, we have that judgment card. So, you know, judgment cards, like, you know, this is time to kind of come back around again, making some big decisions, some kind of unfinished business with this person. So yeah, kind of a second chance, kind of resurrecting what we thought was kind of done over, especially for those of you who feel like this person or who this person did just kind of ghost, um, not getting any answers, anything like that. You know, this person is wanting to come back, wanting to bring in communication. And it looks like they're going to be doing, it kind of feels like to me, either by like a text or social media first. Um, and like I said, it's going to kind of catch you off guard, kind of come out of nowhere. But the connection's still there. Even though you're kind of ticked off at how this person did you, how this person left, or ticked off about the situation, it's like the connection is still there. There's still love here. There's still feelings here. There's a lot of hurt. There's a lot of pain. There's a lot of sadness. But, I mean, it, it has potential, you know? I mean, especially if you guys open up those lines of communication and you both you decide to, you know, hash it out, just talk and you know, see if you can get things going, it's got potential. So again, you know, that's, of course, that's up to you. You know, your situation, this is a general reading. So I, you know, it's what, not one-on-one, -on -one, it's not tailored to just one person. So I don't fully know, you know, each individual's full situation, but you do, you know, your own situation. So if this applies, like I said, you know, if it has potential, you know, if you just want to be done with it. Um, for a lot of you, I see you communicating with this person because, like I said, the connection is there, the love is there, the feelings are there. So, all right. All right, so I'm going to be taking some Twin Flame Angel numbers here. Um, you know, a lot of us, especially when we are getting signs, getting downloads, because, like I said, I kept getting something about music. Um, you know, so you could be seeing some kind of numbers, like kind of, you know, repeating themselves or... Um, Okay, we had one fly out. Two, three, four. So your twin is leveling up their energy in order to match yours and will face you when the time is right. So it kind of just feels like that's what this person is doing. You know, at the time, something wasn't right. Like I said, for some of you, they could have left you for a karmic, um, you know, karmic relationship. For others of you, it's just like they kind of ghosted. You're not exactly sure what the heck happened because they just left you with no answers. Like I said, just ghosted. But it's like this person wants to come back. They want to kind of right this wrong, see if there's still a chance, open up communication. All right, then we have 533. So change in scenery may help to clear the mind. A short trip or vacation may be helpful. All right, um, bottom of the deck, we have 229. Patience is required as one twin is still struggling to gain clarity with current challenges. Yeah, um... Because it does really feel like, especially with all these swords here, like somebody is really, because, you know, that represents like our thoughts, you know, um, you know, our mind, you know, all kinds of things, communication, you know, um, but it really does feel like somebody here is really kind of struggling um, with being in their feelings, you know, being in their mind, um, just kind of being in their head, trying to sort things out. Like, what, what is my next move? What do I do? Where do I go from here? Can this be repaired? You know, all these questions is kind of circling in their mind. And like I said, it's just kind of digging themselves deeper and deeper into their own thoughts. 
So um, definitely patience is needed here. Um, it feels like the soulmate energy, you know, like it says here, they're trying to get their energy to kind of match yours. Like I said, two, three, four, it's like that number, those particular numbers are things falling into place. Um, so, you know, again, you know, divine timing is kind of at work here. But like I said, it feels like this is kind of coming back around again. So for a lot of you, for the majority of you, I am getting definitely this as someone from your past wanting to talk. All right, let me get some Romance Angel Oracles here for Gemini. Calling in your soulmate. So your prayers, affirmations, vis visualizations help bring you together. So yeah, it's like I said, not being able to let this connection go fully, either um, you or your person. Like neither one of you can let the connection go. You're both just kind of calling each other in. Even, you know, for the person who left for, um, you know, the karmic relationship, it's like they realize they messed up. You know, the grass, you know, it's not greener on the other side. Yep currently in separation, but realizing you are their true love and vice versa. Um, so yeah, so that is what came out. Let's see if I can get that all in there. Separation, calling in your soulmate, true love. So like I said, you're calling each other back because currently you're in separation. There's no communication between you guys. Um, but true love, knowing this person is your true love, knowing that you have feelings for them. Like I said, that love is still there. Connection still there. Feelings are still there. You know, they're realizing it too. So just, oops. Okay. I was going to say, I was going to take a uh, love Oracle and then I was shuffling this one pops out. So there's the picture. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. I like that. Yeah, because especially for the person who's really in their head um, about this connection here. It's like getting out of your head, things kind of, again, falling into place and just creating new opportunities, you know, creating this light at the end of the tunnel, if you will. All right, then we have freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want to be. So for some of you, you know, there's a picture if you want to see it. Um, for some of you, you know, you're choosing freedom. It's like, no, I just want to do me. Even though there's this connection, I'm not going to stop living my life, which you shouldn't. Even though there's a strong connection here, even though this person is your soulmate, your true love, um, don't put your life on hold for anybody. You know, I, I always try to tell people that, you know, because that's something that um, I get asked a lot. Should I, you know, just hold on or should I move on? Well, you know, definitely if you want to hang on to that, you know, you don't have to let go of your person completely. I mean, it's, you know, if, especially if there's a connection there, there's love there. You can always love them. But at the same time, you can't hang on to that. You should move on. You can't put your life on hold waiting for this person because sometimes, you know, it can be years before, you know, your twin flame, your soulmate, you know, clicks in their head, like, you know what, this is a person I want to be with, or it could be years before you guys are brought back together for some people, not everybody, but still, I'm just saying, don't put your life on hold. All right, then you have the card of friendship, and there's the picture. Um, nurture the bonds of your friendship within your relationship, and your love life will dramatically improve. Yeah, for some of you, I'm getting that you guys were actually friends before this. Um... Yeah, because I'm getting, like I said, a very strong connection. And then with the Six of Cups, that often talks about, you know, someone from your past. So you guys could have, actually, for some of you, a very long um, relationship with this person. You know, beginning as friends first and then moving into a romantic relationship. So, you know, again, take it how it resonates. But, yeah, that's just kind of what I'm getting that's coming out here. So, all right. Well, Jim and I, I that was your reading for this week. I hope it helps your situation. So, um Take care, and I will see you guys again soon.